Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can blur your background in pixel art. It's pretty easy, but yeah, I'm going to show you how it's done correctly, perfectly and also in a couple of, uh, you have a couple of options here. So let's start. I would like to uh, first start with uh, you clicking on your background uh, picture, which is or which is this one on the right side of your screen. Then uh, there is left sidebar that you should have here and this drop. It says blur, sharper, sharpen or smudge. We're gonna click on this little drop and uh, right now we have a mode here. Mode of blur, mode of sharpen and smudge. We want to go with a blur. Right now we are having a brush where you can make it uh, more pixelated. Let's say it's okay. And we are adding this hazy, hazy look on uh, this lake and on the pier. Uh, we are not blurring, as you can see, my, uh, my fox icon. That's a very good thing, because we don't really want to do it. On the other hand, this is one thing, like, uh, you, can, uh, you can do it. You have a strength here, so we can uh, go all the way to 100, which you won't be seeing basically anything, or just add more and more. Okay, let, let's go back because it was a point of no return. Because we were just blurring and blurring and blurring. Okay, another thing that you can uh, try to use and which I'm uh, a bigger fan of, instead of blurring, let's go uh, on the top corner of your screen or top side where are adjustments. In ad ad adjustments, we have brightness and contrast, temperature and tint, hue and saturation. Well, I want to go with temperature and tint. And if we are using tint, as you can see, we are using that bronze color. We are going into more purplish right now. And temperature, we are uh, going into the warm colors and here into the, uh, into the cold colors. Because that's why I'm showing you uh, this is uh, because sometimes Blur isn't the most prettiest one. You can also use you know, purple, orange. You can go to saturation and uh, go and make it black and white, just like that. And also the lightness. But that's self, self explanatory. If you want to reverse colors, colorize it easily, you can. So. There are two ways how you can uh, toy around with a blur. I like the adjustment option more because not always blur is the original option that uh, maybe it fits your project the most and you'll be looking for something else. And, uh, and playing with the colors is uh, the second best thing that you can do. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one. Have a great day and goodbye.